Hi, this is Clever Someday, and I've got something exciting to share with you today. I get a lot of questions about how to get the distress look in Silhouette Studio for your cut files, and I finally got a solution I think is workable, and it involves this file that I'm going to share on my blog that I call the Distress Kit, and I'm going to show you how it works with some examples. Basically what I have here is two shapes that are filled with a transparent pattern with white distress on it. Now I'm going to show you that by just revealing the mat here and you'll see that I have a pink outline and it has white dots in it like snow. Okay, I'm just revealing the mat so that you can see what that looks like. When you get it, it will have this word distress kit so that you will remember that these patterns are here because if I take them away this will look just like a white mat with a couple of pink rectangles and you won't know what you're getting. So what we do here is we would take our file that we want to, I'm going to move these out of the way so that I can work on this without worrying about selecting. You would take your file that you want to distress you want to get it at the size that you want it because remember the distress is relative to the size. So what you want to do, and I'm going to zoom in here where I can see this a little bit better, is these are two different densities basically of distress. This one is pretty high density. This one is a little lower density. And you can also adjust these. So if you go to the Pattern Advanced, you can change the scale. Got to select it. And then you can change the scale. So you can make the snow bigger or smaller. Remember, keep in mind you got to weed this, so you're not going to want to go too small. You can change the angle. This less dense pattern on the bottom is seamless, so you're not going to have to worry about that. You can also do the pan where you can move the dots around. So you can even make sure that you're missing a key area or getting the edge nice and distressed or whatever you want like that. If we looked at the top one, which is the more dense, it's not seamless. If I go down a very, let's see, select it again. If I go down very small, you might be able to see that there is a seam here, but this is a pretty nice pattern. So you can move it around just with your cursor, you can move it around with the pan, you can change the angle, you can change the scale. So in other words, you make the particles bigger but less dense. So basically you could say, well, I, I like this level of distress, but I'm not willing to weed that much or whatever. You can also change the size of these rectangles and it does not stretch the pattern, it just fills the pattern. The pattern fills in over that in tiles. So you can play with this and get the distress level like you want it. You could even overlay both of these for instance. If you wanted some small and some large, um, you could do that. So you can get this however you want it to the level of distress that you are comfortable with. And you play with this and you will get get it how you want it. Well, let's say we want it like this. Okay, now I have done this before and I'm sure you have where you took a distress pattern that was an SVG and you subtracted it and it either took a long time or it crashed Sil Studio. So I think that the better idea is going to be to use a trace instead. And that's what's nice about this. This is a this is a ping file which lets you do all the adjusting and tiling, which a SVG doesn't let you do. And also it the trace is very fast compared to a subtract. And you really aren't worrying about the the tiny bit of quality loss you can get from Trace since you're trying to get a distressed look anyway. So once I get this on my screen like I want it, I'm going to do the tr select Trace area and I'm just going to make sure that I avoid my pink outlines. And the pink outlines, by the way, are just there for your convenience. You can turn them off. So I'm going to uncheck High Pass and I'm going to click Trace. 
and I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way. I'll fill this with black. And let's see, let's give it a black outline. And you'll see there's my new file. But I still have my old file so that it's not been damaged in any way. And I've still got these that are ready to go for the next time. So basically I would just copy and paste this to a new document basically. And if I don't like that I can go back and do another one. So a lot you can do here to customize just the level you want and it's fast, it's not going to crash Silhouette Studio, and uh, I hope you find it useful. I appreciate you watching. I hope that you will subscribe to my Clever Someday channel and also follow my blog if you're not already. And make sure that you let everybody know where they can find the Distress Kit for Silhouette Studio. Thanks a lot.